What's up YouTube, I'm Jesse with Glass Trigger. If you've thought about getting into long range hunting and have heard sub-magnum cartridges like the 6.5 and 6mm Creedmoor are better for long range shooting, this video is for you. Today I'm going to explain why for hunting, magnums like the 7mm Rem Mag or 300 Win Mag might be the better option for harvesting long range game. Let's take a look at why the benefits of cartridges like the 6.5 Creedmoor may not hold up for long range hunting, what advantages magnums provide, and compare and contrast some popular cartridges and show the actual numbers that impact you. What is long range hunting? Long range has all sorts of different definitions, but we're going to define it as hunting game from three to 600 yards. At these distances, Kentucky windaging it isn't going to be a very reliable method for success. Competition shooting out to about 1,000 yards has recently been dominated by sub-magnum cartridges, usually in the 6 or 6.5 millimeter range, earning them the reputation they have today. These bullets usually provide an excellent balance of ballistic coefficient and low recoil. While these are excellent cartridges, magnums may be a better option for the long-range hunter. So what makes a good long-range target rifle versus hunting rifle? First, low recoil in target rifles is extremely valuable. Being able to spot your hits and misses is something all long range competition shooters need to do well. This is because their targets are typically stationary or moving at a constant speed and direction, allowing for accurate follow up shots. When hunting, unless you're this guy, your game won't remain stationary after a missed shot and allow you to make an adjustment. While low recoil could still be nice for a newer shooter, it's not going to be very important for our experienced hunters. Second, barrel life saves you more money in target shooting. Good competition shooters are going to fire thousands of rounds a year, while a hunter might go through a box. A cartridge like the 6.5 Creedmoor is going to have a barrel life about three times as long as your typical Magnum. Target shooters are also much more likely to fire multiple shots in a row, increasing the rate of wear on a barrel. I'm glossing over some things here, but these two attributes are valuable in target shooting, but not so much to our typical hunter. Okay, so low recoil and barrel life might not be as important but why might magnums actually be better for us? First, the ballistic advantage that some of these sub-magnum cartridges have doesn't really come into play until 600 yards or so. Some of our faster magnums will actually provide a flatter shooting projectile out to our hunting distances despite having a lower BC bullet. This allows us to have a little more air built into our range estimation and shooting. Here's an example. You see a deer out in a field and range it at about 370 yards. You dial this elevation in your scope and shoot. Because of the rangefinder being unstable, some light vegetation in the way, or something else, the deer was actually 30 yards further at 400 yards. With a 6.5 Creedmoor, you'd hit about 3.92 inches low. While taking this exact same shot with a 168 grain 300 Win Mag, you'd only hit 2.86 inches low. Okay, you might say it's like one inch, dude. Who cares? The penis enlargement industry is estimated to be a multi-billion dollar industry, so trust me, people care. Let me show you how these inches can add up to a bad shot. Let's say we have a vital zone on our target of 10 inches. If we assume you're a very good shooter shooting one MOA while hunting at 400 yards, that gives us a 4 inch diameter hit zone on our 10 inch vitals. If we shift that down 2.86 inches versus 3.92 inches, you can see it actually means some of our shots, just over 20% with the 6.5 Creedmoor, will miss a 10 inch vital zone. Really, this is the best case scenario. We likely won't be shooting one MOA in the field with a cold bore in potentially new wind and environmental conditions. This all will additionally widen our potential hit area. While this clearly demonstrates our need to get a good range to our target, our game may not provide us with an ideal opportunity and any extra inches we can save ourselves could be a game changer. Second, magnums provide more stopping power. More energy and greater frontal surface area of your bullet, given the same bullet designs, are both positively correlated with a bullet's ability to quickly and humanely put a target down. In competition, your bullet only needs to carry enough energy to be spotted on steel or poke a hole in paper. As far as I'm concerned, you can be as morally corrupt to steel and paper as you want. Just please keep that shit in your own home. Let's compare and contrast some common rounds that I've crunched the numbers for. All the magnums highlighted in yellow have less bullet drop than the 6.5 and 6mm Creedmoors out to 600 yards. This can all be changed slightly by ammunition selection, but the trend will generally be true. Also worth noting, at 500 yards in a 5 mile per hour 9 o'clock wind, the magnums all experience anywhere from 14 to 28% less wind drift. This translated anywhere from 1.1 to 2.3 inches, and as we've seen, those inches can equal a bad shot. 
I've broken down the energy of the rounds as well from three to 600 yards. I don't think this figure is super important in terms of understanding a bullet's effectiveness, but I still found it interesting that at 600 yards, the magnums I calculated for carried anywhere from 32 to 84% more energy. Finally, I listed the distance at which the rounds crossed the 2,000 feet per second threshold. I've seen bullet manufacturers state that the minimum velocity for proper bullet performance and expansion is anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 feet per second for most commonly used bullets. I think their estimates are most likely conservative, but regardless, I thought this number could be useful and give you an idea of maximum effective range. So final thoughts, I think it's fair to say I oversimplified some concepts here and ultimately I think it's perfectly reasonable to long range hunt with any of the aforementioned rounds. The main idea here is that while cartridges like the 6.5 Creedmoor get all the fanfare and popularity for long range shooting, you don't need to run out to your local gun store to replace your 300 Win Mag. Magnums may not have the edge for most long range target shooting, but they may have a very real edge for long range hunters. They don't suffer the same drawbacks target shooting guns do from high recoil and low barrel life, and they may have equivalent or even better external ballistics at the ranges we would consider hunting, not to mention they have a clear advantage in terminal ballistics. Ultimately, your cartridge should be decided by its use. If you're looking for a dedicated long-range hunting rifle, I think a Magnum may be the way to go. I'm a new YouTuber, so it'd really help me out if you'd like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, good luck out there, and may your groups be small.